What's up guys? We're here at the pavilion. We're about to train some legs. Um, I want to give you guys my top three tips on how to get bigger quads, specifically the quads, because I feel like a lot of us guys are lacking that in that area. Ladies pretty much have that under lock, but for a lot of us guys, we're focused up here and down there, it's not looking too good. Tip number one, because your quads, um, besides, okay, I'll get to stuff like full range of motion and all that later, but because your quads are bigger muscles, like your chest, your back and all that, they, print, they consist more so of type 1 fibers. Those are fast twitch fibers that more so are responsible for like fast movements, explosive movements and carrying heavier loads because they're bigger muscles. So you want to train them and you want to make sure that you train them with heavier loads and um, exercises that really emphasize that mid to lengthen range with heavier loads and obviously good form but like heavier loads so right now we're actually warming up I'm just warming up the knees we're probably going to do some squatting we're going to squat today. Um, good job that's tip number one Tip number two ne, is full range of motion. You've heard that one before. But Loki, we have to we have to discuss it again. So anytime you train any muscle, and I think people know this in general. So let's take your triceps for example. Because your elbow is like a hinge joint, much like your knee. It only moves in one plane, yeah? This way. Same thing, yeah. So why would you train your quad only there? So normally a lot of people end up having, I don't want to say quads that don't look right, but like you miss out on a lot of development because of that extra 10, 20, I don't know how many degrees left of motion that you don't ever tap into. That's why I recommend things like a hack squat, things like a pendulum squat, where you can go to full knee flexion, obviously if your knees allow it. And still push off the heels when you do so okay so think about that make sure that you do um, full range of motion even for your parts so that lengthened and mid-range that we talked about any muscle needs that <laughs> Tip number three, last tip. Go outside of your comfort zone. So what I mean by that is, as much as some of us might do the, the other tip that I gave you guys about lifting with heavier weights because of the whole fast twitch thing, it doesn't mean that your legs can't have muscular endurance. It doesn't mean they don't comprise of uh, slow twitch fibers. So it's actually sometimes harder to lift less weight, but with more reps with your legs because you end up getting to a point where you almost feel like vomiting. So I challenge you to, instead of going six reps for however much weight you do, you know, on another day, try something like a hack squat or a pendulum squat or even the squats themselves for 20 reps. Non-stop. Obviously, you'll break in between, but a higher rep range. So 20, 30 reps, whatever you can stomach. But um, that, I think that also is a very, very big hindrance for most people with legs because they know they know it's easier to squat lots of weight uh, so sort of the sets quickly over you know fewer reps but challenge your guys yourself and do something like that where you, you're going for higher reps and the burn's going to be real and your central nervous system is going to feel like it wants to shut down but your legs are going to go okay 
so yeah that completes the video um i'm gonna mess around in the pool a little bit and uh i'll see you guys next time Probably similar with every muscle group, but more so top three tips to get bigger quads. What? Uh, yes. It only moves in one plane, yeah? This way. Same thing, yeah. So why? <laughs> Tip number three is, uh, Go outside of your comfort zone. So I know a lot of us do train. Died. Died. 